people have low expectations of themselves if you're not careful. You're told, oh, be careful you don't fall, or that's dangerous, you know, no, oh, well, you're a bit giddy, you know, and all those sort of things. And to be with a group of people that actually didn't pay that much attention to my age, <clears throat> they really didn't. I felt one of them. And that's marvellous when you get to my age, to be one of a group of young people. So from the very outset on Edie, the most difficult thing that we had to confront was that we had this story of this older lady who had to climb this, actually what is a very difficult mountain in Scotland. I thought to begin with, when it was first given to me, I thought, well, they won't, I won't actually have to climb a mountain. Then I went for a lunch, I think it was, and met the director and the producer. They kind of looked at one another and they said, well, it would be good if you did, sort of thing. And I thought, oh my goodness, but I desperately wanted to do it at that time. So I said, well, all right, all right, fine, I'll do it. And then I went home and thought, oh my God, I'm 83, I'm climbing a mountain, what am I talking about? How are we going to do this? And, and we decided that the way to do it was actually the way that she does it in the film, was actually the way to do it was to take it over a number of days. And we could do it in stages. The two things you don't want are danger and time. And so we took the, the time element away. But actually in the end, Sheila was, got more and more confident. To begin with, we had to go across kind of wilderness, miles of bog and snakes and toads and God knows what else. And that was terribly exhausting. She was out in the middle of the night. She was out in the rain, in the storms. She was cycling, which she hadn't done for years. She was rowing, which I don't think she's ever done before. It's phenomenal what she's done. I, I couldn't imagine, you know, how many people would do that. We were just, you know, so lucky. And eventually we came to the mountain and there was this precipice and the first assistant took me aside and said Sheila this is your last chance because if you start going up that's it, we've got to go through with it. And I thought, oh God, I, I don't think I can do it. I, because I was exhausted from ploughing across all this countryside. Then I saw the guys, the crew, they were laden with cameras and sound equipment and stuff, clambering up this thing. And I thought, I can't let them down. I absolutely can't let them down. We've got this far, I've just got to go through with it. I mean, there was nobody on the crew who complained for a second about climbing that mountain. And they didn't because they saw that Sheila put this effort in and she was leading the, uh, the army on our, on our assault on this, on, on, the, on this climb. Everybody said, we only did it because you did it. So there was this extraordinary thing that we were all desperate not to let one another down. We got to one level of the mountain and looked down and there was this amazing landscape. I mean, what is extraordinary is it is wilderness. It's not beautiful, it's just spectacular. I can remember just feeling absolutely at one with nature. I didn't feel diminished by it. Do you know what I mean? You expect that something as huge as the mountains of Scotland to make you feel minuscule and I didn't feel that at all. I just felt part of something magnificent. Sheila decided before we got to Scotland that she was going to climb this mountain, whatever, come hell or high water, she was going to get up this mountain. You know, watching Sheila, it taught me that you really can do anything if you put your mind to it. You know, it's never too late to, to uh, 
you, you know, to embark on a different adventure, a different course in your life, to try something that you've never tried before or have always wanted to or, or actually just feel that you're too old to. It was tough, but it was kind of wonderful to be doing that at my age. It was exhilarating as well. And it's also a change, huge change for old people to see somebody portraying age as something lively and exciting. I don't think she regretted for a moment that, you know, she um, came with us on this adventure. It was, it was an extraordinary experience. I think all people should be put through some kind of hazardous thing like that because it livens you up no end. I think it's really good for you.